Whatever you say beyond this point is being recorded, just so you know. <laughs> oh, dear Snake Doctor, can't wait to see you in 10, homeboy. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we had some mad weather around here. We was out without electricity there for about 28 hours, I guess. Uh, we finally got some electricity on about 8 o'clock last night. But no, that, 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 like I said, that was a poor excuse for a break. I don't care who the hell hears it. And uh, anybody that went to the break down there that uh, got any honesty to them, got any backbone to them, they'll tell you the same thing. That was just a poor excuse for a break on that end. Po 10, Po 10. Hey, uh, yeah, I, I was watching the news, man. All them damn tornadoes and all that, man. Boy, uh, mm. you guys were lucky you got out of Georgia, man. They had that big uh, tornado roll through there yesterday, right? About it, boy. Alabama, I think there was better than 200 people got killed just in Alabama. Yeah, I hear you. Damn, man. Yeah. That's just crazy, man. That's just crazy. Yeah, I've been watching it on YouTube, man. Been watching a lot of it on YouTube. Shoot them, kind of big of taking whole towns away. Yeah, it did. It wiped out a whole town, man. It was an F5, and somebody was telling me they watched on the news. Of course, I ain't had any electricity here. Been out running a generator to keep the free deep freezer in there. And the refrigerator going, I ain't been watching no TV, but they said that thing, when it touched down, it went for like 200 something miles, and at times it was a mile wide. Yeah, Roger on that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it usually goes for trailer parks, man, but this time it seemed like it was going for houses. That was kind of strange, man. Yeah, the weather's, the weather's changing, the solar cycle, uh, the solar cycle's crazy, man. The cycle 24 is gonna be insane. We're gonna have some major earthquakes out of here. We've already been having a couple. So I'm sure we, uh, we gonna get our, uh, our share out of here too, man. Well, I got down. Well, maybe you'll be over here at the break if they hit. <laughs> maybe you'll be over here around Manchester if they hit too hard. Of course, you'll be worried about family back home. Yeah, we've had people from Alabama coming up here. Uh, they mopped our stores out. Well, of course, a bunch of us bought generators and stuff. I already had one. But hell, they wiped out the generators, the gasoline, kerosene. Uh, hell, you couldn't buy find a gas jug, a lantern, C-size batteries for flashlights, flat coolers. Hell, they coming up out of, out of Alabama going plumbing national just to get things. Yeah, that's... That's crazy. But uh, they got to survive, baby. You gotta survive. Shoot, when you lose everything, you know what I mean? You gotta survive somehow, man. Yeah, I really feel for people down there, Scott. Like I say, I run into a lot of people here at Walmart yesterday and this morning still. They're just, uh, they coming from up here just try to you know, close as they can to try to find a generator and uh, they'll water to drink and just say everything, man. They're just wiping out everything up here. Like I said, there's a lot of us that had to buy generators around here because this claim we was gonna be without electricity for uh, know, three or four days, but we just had to do uh, just a little bit better than a day. And there's still people around here without electricity, but they working on it. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, I hate to hear that. We lose our power out here for about two hours. Shoot us people on the streets with guns. Shoot <laughs> out of here in California when the power goes out for two hours. The whole place goes upside down. That's all right, yeah, they done that around here. I just sit back and uh, light me a few candles and lanterns there, and I just sit back with my loaded gun and go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I got guns. <laughs> I definitely got guns. So I don't I don't ever sweat it myself. But dude, I've got uh see I got uh drums in the backyard. Got a couple fifty five gallon drums with flashlights, batteries, jerky. Dude, you have to be prepared for anything, you know what I mean? And we change it out, you know, a couple times a year, you know what I'm saying? Change it out a couple times a year. We'll, like, bring the water in, we'll drink it, and then refill it and put some new jerky in there. I always tell my wife, oh, man, that jerky's been out there for a while. She said, damn, we just put it in there last week. I, said, I don't know, man. You never know. Yeah, I can't hear it. We've had more tornadoes and stuff spinning off this year out of all this, this spring weather. 
been in 40 or 41 years, so we ain't really prepared down here. It kind of took everybody by surprise around here. Yeah, well, dude, it's got to do with the solar cycle, man. It's got to do with the solar cycle. It's just, uh, it's just going to be ugly, man. You know that movie, 2012? That, that's not a joke, man. <laughs> I mean, the conditions are going to be good. We'll be talking. Oh, 504, I heard you in there. But, uh, yeah, it's just going to, it's going to get ugly for a little bit, man. We just got to get past it. But it's, uh, I hate to say, uh, the worst is not here yet, man. Next year it's going to be there may be 80,000 tornadoes coming. Uh, well, I hate to see it. I'll get back at you later as you get that 504 or whatever it is, Scott. Well, like I say, I didn't get no talk time in yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> I tried to make up for it there, but I'll get back out of the way, Scott. Put it on you later, buddy. I'm going to see you kind of read on your mail for a little bit. I'll see you. Hi, right, Snake Doctor. Take care, my brother. Take care now. Be safe out there, man. Shoot, man. Uh, that stuff ain't over yet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, mm, mm, mm. be careful, man. Be careful. I've been saying a lot of prayers for y'all, y'all out there, man. I gotta make sure y'all make it to Manchester. And uh, how about that Alabama skip shooter? Nothing landed around his area. 301 and all them boys. They all right. I hope. I don't know, Scott. He went, uh, he went into northwest Georgia, down, and he lives in Fort Payne, and he's not far from the Georgia line. Uh, uh, the Georgia line is just a little bit east to him. He may have got hit down there, Scott. I ain't, I ain't heard nothing from Shooter. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll give him a call. I got his number. I'll give that cat pick a call and make sure he's all good, man. Yeah, I got his number too. Like I said, we ain't had no phone or nothing. We got these cordless phones, and if you ain't got no electricity, you ain't got no phone. And around here in the country, if you ain't got no electricity, you ain't got no water either. Been having to go, uh, go, uh, get one hundred and fifty, one of that there in the bushes. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Now that's roughing it right there, homeboy. <laughs> now that's roughing it. Over modulation. Hell, we used to. We do a lot of camping and stuff anyway, Scott. It don't I did hear 504 in there. That one time poked his head in there around Jack Daniels. But, uh, all right, homeboy, we'll take care of you. And, uh, you be safe, man. You be safe, bro. And, uh, make sure you carry a lot of medical supplies with you, too, man. You never know when you're going to have to patch yourself up or someone else, man. All right, homeboy, I'll get back with you. All right, Scott, we'll see you, buddy. Too little.